a matchup from the American League Central. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Cleveland Indians. Only on 2K Sports. A bat that's full of hits. Grady Sizemore carries it, and he'll be doing that in our game. Progressive field where the Indians fans are getting settled. Well, it's uh, what you've been waiting for. 2K Sports Major League Baseball Wednesday afternoon. It'll be Justin Masterson, the starting pitcher. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, young Justin Masterson on the mound, a big body guy, throwing kind of a low three quarter delivery, kind of slings the ball at the hitter. But it allows him to get good movement on his fastball and some nasty break on the slider. But throwing strikes is going to be critical for Masterson to be successful. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is courtesy of Pepsi. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, the potential's there for Alex Rios to be a productive hitter. So let's see if he can provide some offense for his team today because they're going to need it. And it's Johnny Damon now. We're just about ready for the first pitch. Left fielder, number 18, Johnny Damon. The grounder to Peralta. And the leadoff man's on board. You love the offense when it gets going that way. Now I'll take a quick look at the Indians, how they line up on the field. So, Steve, any individual stand up? Oh, it's Drubal Cabrera has great versatility up the middle. It doesn't matter where you play him. He has great range and instincts and the ability to be able to throw from any position on the field. And a runner on for Alexei Ramirez. Well, lost last night for the Indians. Chance here to at least prevent the three-game sweep. They hope to go one and two against Chicago. Masterson with the delivery. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. That last one, a bit of a blow-up. Their pitching staff really struggled. Yeah, losing by seven runs, it puts a lot of pressure on your right offense and too much in this game. Swing and a miss. Three strikes, and Alexei Ramirez is set down. When you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you're definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. One out, runner on at first. Swings a little late that time, strike one. Look at the lifetime numbers, 280 against the Indians. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Conurco now will look to tighten up that zone. Or look like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. And Paul Conurco strikes out to not make contact. Boy, terrific break on this pitch. Just bottoms out. Pretty fast for a breaking ball, too. Well, this one was running down and away, but even if he didn't swing at it, it might have still caught the corner. Yeah, John, that pitch was pretty perfectly placed. Nothing you can do about it. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply towards the hole. Now well, breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average, first in hits, and he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark, a major power threat every time he comes to the plate. And Beckham's in the box. Two down. Runners at first and second. Drill towards the hole, and that's out number three. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. First look at the Cleveland Bats coming right up. And it'll be Jared Washburn doing the pitcher. He's going to start for Chicago. Steve will be watching how he approaches this Cleveland lineup. Now, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead of the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. And he starts Sizemore out. Starts him out with a cut fastball for a strike. Lifetime four for 15 off Washburn.
Pitch on the way. Strike two. Sizemore is going to be much more careful with that cut here. Well, he's got great movement on that two seamer. It's one of the best around. And he can't pull the trigger. Grady Sizemore strikes out. Now we're going to get another look here at that cut fastball here at KQ. He fed him a fastball on that last pitch, John, and then locked him up with movement to finish him off. But did he ever? That was a great sequence. Show him the heat and then drop one right in on him the next pitch. And Cabrera settles in. That one swung on its line. And that'll be Cleveland's first hit of the ball game. Line up for the Indians. We'll take a look, courtesy of Pepsi. And our scouting report, John, who are we watching for today? Well, Johnny Peralta is a great hitter. He has power. He can provide some pop for this team. Let's see if he can do that today to get his team a win. It's going to be Laporta now. They didn't have much offense last night, but he did at least drive in their only run that they scored. One down, runner at first. Cuts him off with one at the knees for a strike. I think the hitter was looking for something out over the plate that he could drive. They pounded a fastball down and in for a strike. strike and Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Oh, and there goes Cabrera. Ground ball towards second. Too late, and he is safe at second. Well, that pitch down and away is the toughest in the game to hit. Number seven, perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. Keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. Chew into the batter's box. One out with runners at first and second. Takes one up and away for strike one. No balls, one strike, Washburn. Don't strike and a fastball, and it's 0-2. Well, they set up down and away, they throw it down and away. That's how you can be effective as a major league pitcher. Swing and a miss on the now fastball, second out in the Cleveland inning. Indian. On a quick Thursday. strikeout right there, Number keeps three. this game close in the early Johnny going. Earl Boy, that one went by in a hurry. That was 1-2-3, sending back. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. There's Johnny Peralta now with the RBI opportunity. Hit in the air to left center. Damon. And that's the third out. That'll do it. So Jared Washburn holding those runs down. The handiwork already on display. Strikes out two to start this ball game. And it'll be the white side. Regressive field. A tremendously nice spring of weather here. Perfect for baseball. Alex Rio. And Alex Cerrillos to lead off. Well, you know he saw the ball well in the game last night. Two big home runs for his team and major contribution offensively. And he wants to try to carry that over and keep it going here tonight. That's it. Foul by Rios. Oh, and one. Masterson kicks and delivers. Ball bueno. So Rios is set down. And now he's got a moment to see how the Indians are doing rank-wise in the American League. Third in triples, fifth in hitting with runners in scoring position. And they're the top ten in runs scored. That offense relentless putting up runs and giving themselves a chance to win. It's going to be Przinsky and one of the top ten averages right now. A smash between short and third. That's the second out of the inning. Everyone looked like he nearly keeled over trying to make that throw. Now any throw, the key part of it is footwork, and he had good footwork right there. That's a major league play right there. And here's Martinez. Two outs, base is empty. Here's a swing and a fly ball. A foul ball. Oh, 
Oh, and one Masterson kicks and delivers. This one hit and a long foul ball down the left side. And Tian swings and misses strike three. No hits, nobody left on, and a good defensive half inning. Nothing doing for either side scoring wise here in Cleveland. And it'll be Baldwin standing in to hit. He's going to start the second for the home team. Washburn set and delivers the right center and it's going to be Quentin and he gets over and grabs it from the left. Let's look at the Central Division standings courtesy of State Farm. We begin the final stretch. First place the White Sox. Second place the Royals. Third place goes to the Indians. Twins are fourth and rounding out the list the Tigers. Our Chicago White Sox on fire right now back from the dead. They couldn't do anything right before and now they're doing everything right. There's a strike at the knees on one. Now let's see if he bounces back after last night's game, striking out twice. See if he has a little bit more plate discipline. And Jared Washburn delivering the strike quickly up. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Curveball. Thought he had him, but it's one and two. Swinging a miss on the cutter that time. Two down. Two strikes. The hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. And it's Crow at the plate. Base is empty with two outs. Ball. That curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. 23 lifetime at bats, five hits off the White Sox. Here's Washburn, 1 0 pitch. Hit softly out towards shallow center. And through into center field. Well, I love being able to get hits with two outs. Even if there's no one on base, you don't drive in any runs. What it does is, though, it prolongs the inning and it makes the opposing pitcher work harder and can possibly get him out of the game earlier. It's going to be Rice now. In his rookie year now, a runner on first with two outs. Oh, they get him to chase that one outside, ball one. He's running towards second. Right one. He is safe at second base. One-one pitch is a cut fastball taken for a strike. One and two. One-two pitch coming. This one's grounded to second. Back up. Throws to first in time. That's three down. Getting it done once again, Jared Washburn. He emerges from the first two innings on scale. And it'll be the White Sox. And it's Jim Tomey in the box now. And right now, top five and runs batted in in the league. Jim Tomey. And Masterson gets him swinging for the first strike. And that's a strike. Tomey is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Now, if you're watching the ball game last night, you saw him pick up a couple of RBIs. You can't connect on that. Jim Tomei up empty on a swing. Struck him out on three pitches. That gets it done in a hurry. Efficient and in control. When you have those two things working for you, you're going to get it done. 
And it's Johnny Damon. One of the best batting averages in the league. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 1. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate, day in and day out. That consistency is critical to their success. Line drive. In time for the other. Well, we have a moment courtesy of State Farm. Let's see who has the league league in hits. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Two outs and nobody on. Masterson with the delivery. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. This is a one hopper off the wall. So there are two men down here, but they do get a man in scoring position. Number 14, Paul Benerko. You'll take getting on base any time, any inning. It just doesn't matter. And here with this double, maybe it's a chance to get a two-out rally started. And it's Paul Canerco now. He's the league leader in ribbies. And he starts Canerco out. That ball is belted deep to left center field. Ball is on its way. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Run score on the long ball. That graph tells us the story. We look at our Pepsi WPA graph. Now Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive oh! out there and go right after Chicago White Sox. Right fielder number 20. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. First pitch on the way. Swung on and missed on one. This is a really momentum feel home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole offense. Well, this could be a decisive moment in the game. And these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. There's a swing and the ball hit deep to right field. Still going back. Goodbye home run. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. Well, back to back shots right there, and certainly the offense coming to life, Gary. Well, this pitcher's got to figure this out, or he's going to be gone in a hurry. Now they got to get somebody warm. Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 15, Gordon Beckham. Base is empty with two outs. Here it comes. Swings and misses the slider. 0 and 1. He deals. Should have let that one go by. Hits the dirt, but it's a strike on a swing. to get him to go after that slider but it's one and two You're out. strike three wow that'll do it for the inning but not before a lot of runs cross and so that was the inning they were looking for three runs the first three runs in our ball game here in the third the White Sox are out in front three to nothing center fielder Number 24, Grady Sizemore. And it's Grady Sizemore in the box now. And frequently walked. He's the most walked hitter in this division. 
and he starts Sizemore out. That one's in the dirt. Nice stop. Well, Jerry, this club, I mean, they, they need to be patient, and he is the guy that sets the tone. He works the count. Hard grounded a short, and Ramirez feels the ball in time for the up. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average of runners in scoring position, and they're also number one in ERA. Their pitching staff getting it done better than everybody else right now. You limit the run scored, you give yourself a chance to win. And Cabrera settles in. Two hits, five at bats, lifetime off right Washburn. One. And the pitch is taken for a strike by Cabrera. Washburn set and delivers. The right center. That one in the alley. This could be two or more. Cabrera going for it. He's still going. At the plate. Well, he shoots this one out towards the wall, no, and he's thinking triple all the way. No hesitation running the bases. He cuts them perfectly. And with one out, let's see how they're going to pitch to the next guy. It's going to be Laporta now. Bounced into a fielder's choice as last time. One out with a runner at third. First pitch on the way. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And that one to fall in, and the run will score. Cleveland continuing to deliver big offense. Number 17, Daniel Sue. Well, the hitter makes an adjustment going down on the pitch at the bottom of the strike zone and drives it here. And you get a run scored if you're in that at bat. What you want to do is make contact. He did. That pays off. Chew into the batter's box. What they want to do now, get this ball game tied up and then try and take it from there. Defense having a tough time stopping the production. Oh, Gary, he got some good wood on that last hit. Put it in play. Now he's closing the gap right here. See if they can make up this difference. As Gene McDaniels used to say, just chip, chip, chipping away. And that's what you want to do in these kind of games. That one's drilled to short. Gets one at second. Now over to first and safe at first. Close play, not quite enough time to get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. I know they wanted to. And we're going to see Peralta here. Lifetime, two for 19 off Washburn. Here's the pitch to Peralta. There is a swing and a liner. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they score once on two hits, one man left. The Indians are not content. They are not sitting back despite trailing. And a dugout shot of many active. This club's moving in the right direction offensively. Last half inning, pitching is now critical to give his guys a shot. They try and get this tied. And Alex Rios up. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. There's a swing and a long high drive hit deep to right center field. Gone! That's a dinger. Putting a little padding on the lead. Solo shot up by three. Take a look at this pitch on the lower outside part of the plate. That normally stays in the park. Not this time. Boy, you got some great wrist action and strength to be able to launch one that's located down there. Now, White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 12, AJ Krasinski. Bases are empty with no one out. And the first pitch. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. He'll hold there at second base, credit him with a double. Well, this is a guy right here that was made to hit fastballs, and that's what he looks for, and that's what he got right there. Put a good swing on it. He knew what to do with it for that double. And Mark T into back. He's a big home run guy, top 10 in the league right now. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to second. 
Balbuena. And that'll set down Tian. Let's check out the American League wild card race brought to you by State Farm. We're here in the home stretch of the season, first week of September. Yankees in first place, Mariners in second place. In the three hole, it's the Orioles. Fourth place, the Royals. Fifth place, the Rays. And it's the Blue Jays last. I've got such a great race right now for the wild card in the American League. And these teams are going to be playing playoff baseball all the way down to game 162. That ball is at a long way deep into right center field. Way back there. Out of here. A homer and a two-run shot. Home runs often come from mistakes, Gary, and he either chose the wrong pitch or had the wrong location because that four-seam fastball is way out of here. Now coming uh, Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. Nobody on base, one away. Here's the pitch. Damon swings and misses for strike one. And Steve, you give up that big fly ball. Now trailing further in this one. Pitching's got to find a way to shut this down right now. Well, that's right. Listen, now with the bases empty, you've got to get in your mind that you're starting over and get out. You're out. Strike three. Damon on a swing and a miss turned away. Boy, a nice legging set of pitches that time. He didn't daddle around with the strike zone. Well, nothing wasted, just three pitches over the plate. Sits him down. And a shot here for Alexi Ramirez. Two down. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops in run scored. Top five. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. He swings and drives this one. This one to Sizemore. And that's the third out. That'll do it. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox, they've got a commanding five run lead. And it'll be Baldwin standing in to hit. Number one. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Just missed with the fastball, 1 0. Lifetime number seven for 25 off the White Sox. Here's Washburn, 1 0 pitch. Strike one. The curve is in the strike zone, even at one. One one pitch. Back up the middle. And it's through. That's a base hit. Here are the teams with the highest batting averages for this month, courtesy of State Farm. Number one, the White Sox. Second, the Mariners. In the third spot, the Orioles. Indians fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded out. Now we may see some real fireworks right here over the last month. Both these clubs really swinging the bat very well and are hitting for a very high batting average. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. Over to Conurco. One away. Boy, you know, might have been able to get the out at second, at least getting the lead runner, but at least they got the sure out at first. One out with a runner at second. First pitch, inside with a fastball, ball one. Here's Washburn, 1-0 pitch. 1-0 pitch, that's a cutter in there, 1-1. Ground ball towards the second baseman. Back up, over to Conerco. Two away. Well, he gets the man over to third base, but with two outs now, it doesn't help much, but at least 90 feet closer to scoring. Two outs, a runner 90 feet from scoring at third. Washburn set and delivered. And he takes that curveball for a strike on one. Here's the pitch. 
Can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0-2. Now Przinski sets up, lines this one to the left side out of play. There's a bullet towards third, and there's Tian for the third out. They get a man to third, but can't bring him home. The White Sox six, Cleveland one. None other than Ozzie. That's Ozzie Gian. He's watched his club stake out a nice advantage, probably thinking about making sure his pitching plans keep up with the runs. Here's the first pitch. Hit up the middle. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. And a look at the hitters, the on base percentage leaders for the month, courtesy of State Farm. What a tough group of hitters right here to pitch to. They battle, they scratch, they claw, they find a way to get on base, and they really wear down the opposing pitcher. He's number one in runs scored in the league. A runner on first, no outs. First pitch to Quinton. He's got the bat on that one. And Sizemore's there. That's one down. And be sure to tune in next Sunday. A home game in Chicago for the Cubs. We'll be playing host to the visiting New York Mets. You can catch that game at 2 o'clock Eastern. Now looking forward to that. That's going to be some kind of matchup here. A good ball game. And Beckham's in the box. He's got a 292 average when going up against the Indians. The pitch. Slider swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Uh, Gary, they could really use a double play ball right here to get out of this inning oh, and, and put a zero up on the board so they can at least get some hope they can come back. And that one swung on and missed by Gordon Beckham. Really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. And Alex Rios up. Top five AL in run scored. That's a strike, and it's 0 2. Time for Rios now to protect. Well, it's tough to tell a hitter to stay back on a fastball, but this is what he needs to do. He's You're jumping out. out, trying to get to it, and just way out of the front. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. No runs on a base hit. They leave one man on at first. And we'll see the end. And Brady signs more up. He'll get things started. Home half, fifth it. Brady signs more. Washburn set and delivers. Oh. Cutter just misses. One and zero. This cut fastball is a very effective pitch for this guy because it allows him to set up all of his other pitches. Back behind second, and it's caught by Ramirez. Number thirteen. And Cabrera settles in. His lifetime average, 288 against the White Sox. Here's the first pitch. Fastball in there. 0 and one. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Up the middle, Washburn. That's two gone. Here's a look at what's coming up for the White Sox. They wrap up the series with Cleveland today. Schedules open tomorrow, and they have to contend with Dustin Pedroia in an always difficult Red Sox lineup. Team that's been on a roll. That'll be a three-game series, and they'll be off to take on the Tigers in that bout of Maglio Ordonia. That team enjoying a stretch of great performances recently. So they'll be on the road quite a bit over this next stretch. Base is empty and two down. And here's the first one. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. And there's Quentin for out number three. 
And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. Pitching deep into the ball game, and uh, it's working with a lead. Five innings down as we go to the sixth. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Cruck, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Leading it off, A.J. Przinsky. And he's in the top ten in the league and runs. Here's the pitch. Swing and a rocket toward short. And Cabrera gloves that one. Our State Farm leaderboard, the teams who have found power during this last month. Number one, the White Sox. Blue Jays in second. The Rays third. Fourth spot, Rangers. And at number five, it's the Angels. Well, some tough lineups right here to pitch against because a lot of power threats throughout the course of these lineups. And they look for a pitch they can drive. And when they get it, they can take you deep. And Mark T into bat in the top ten and hits. Now so Jim Tomey coming up. Chicago Consistency, White professionalism. He never seems to give up in at back here. He's so locked in this year. One out man on first. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. Two down, and they'll hold him at first base. Well, they followed the advanced scout report to a T. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. And it's Johnny Damon right there in the top five in home runs. Change up in there for a called strike. A line drive towards the hole, and there's Peralta. He pulls it in, third out. Quick half inning there. It's over five pitcher. The White Sox six, Cleveland one. Big. And leading it off, Shinsu Chu. Right fielder. For his career, 299 off the White Sox. And he starts Chu out. A smash towards the hole. And Conerco getting to it. And he'll take it himself. Puts the tag on for the out. Oh, Gary, he's pitching well right now. That's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. One out, faces him. Hit in the air to left center. Damon. As he gets to it for the out. Don't talk about settling in. How about retiring eight hitters in a row? I think he settled in. Two outs, space is empty. Now the first pitch. Cut fastball in there for a called strike. And you can throw the ball down in the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Swung on and a ground at a first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. Well, how about that? Only needed four pitches to set down the guys. Tremendous. The White Sox still ahead. And it's Alexei Ramirez now to lead it off. Alexei Ramirez. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swings and misses the good change right there on one. Here's the pitch. Here's a swing and a line drive. And well, Blaina makes the play. And Paul Canerco to bat. A couple of RBIs thus far. Well, the team winning, he's been a big part of the offense, driving in the run with a base hit, and then the home run where he got a pitch that he could drive out of the ballpark and capitalize on it. One out, nobody on. And he starts Canerco out. Hit in the air. And a foul ball. Swung and a fly ball. 
Foul oh, ball. ball. Good slider that time. Ruled the ball. One and two. Hit up the middle. And in there for a base hit. He's three for four today. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Season winding down. Here's what the Indians have on tap. They wrap up the Chicago series today. They're off to face a team in a roll. The Mariners hosting that one. That is a four game road series. Then they have yet another venue. The Angels hosting that one. Probably won't lose too much sleep preparing for this stretch of games. And Saul Rivera is the pitcher. He's coming on in relief for the Indians. He homered back in the third. Runner at first with one down. First pitch to Quinton. Hot shot towards the hole. This is a great situation for some offense. Well, anytime you're a hitter and you can get three hits in a game, you're going to see that average start creeping up to where you want it to be. And he's on now with one out. And Beckham's in the box. Swung on. Hit down the line and left. It has a chance. Say goodbye, a three-run homer. With that three-run homer, they just extended their lead. Well, he went up there deciding he was going to look for the first pitch and drive it, and it's exactly what he did. And then you got to believe whatever pitch he was looking for is the one he got. And a lot of hitters like to take a pitch, work the count, get into a rhythm with the pitcher. Not this guy. He got the first one and drove it. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Number One out, faces him. Rivera with a delivery. Swung on and missed. Strike one. Steve, this lineup uh, combined with their pitching right now in a position to be unstoppable. Well, no question about it. In the other dugout, the manager's got to be thinking, what am I going to do with this pitcher? Should I get him out of there? Foul. Still 0-2. There's a swing and a miss, but he's headed for first. Oh, and he's got it over to first base, and they get the out. Now, great catching. He's earning his money behind the plate today, chasing that ball in the dirt, blocking it, and getting the runner out just in time. It could be a great way to start the offense if you can get a runner like that on, because that's really a steal when you do. Here's a swing and a fly ball. And it's foul. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. The hitter needs a two-strike approach. Shorten up the swing. Think about going the other way. A smash. So they strike for three more runs here and widen that lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Brzezinski calls for the pitch. Oh. Sets him off with a breaking pitch inside. 1-0. Oh. Look here with this big lead here in the seventh inning. It's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get outs right now. Strike. Called strike on the outside corner at a 21. Oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. 1-1 one 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 delivery. A fastball taken for a strike. 1-2. That fastball misses, two and two. Swing and a foul straight back.
Washburn set and delivers. Oh. And that's another foul ball. Well, even if he doesn't get a hit here in this at bat, the fact that he's making the pitcher work, two and two count, enables everyone around him in the dugout to see every pitch he's thrown because he's thrown the kitchen sink trying to get this strikeout. He just fouled off that low pitch. And it's Crow at the plate. Grounded out his last time up. Base is empty with one away. The first pitch. In there for a strike. Gary okay, went out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitch is throwing strikes. The defense making plays. They've got a big lead. Everything feels good. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And he steps on first. That's the second up. Gary, he just continues to mow this lineup down. We're talking about 11 hitters in a row retired. Towards the middle. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. White Sox nine, Cleveland one. And for those of you catching up with us, hi, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Crook and Steve Phillips bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. You know, Gary, I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing, so interesting move. First one to tee in. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. That's one away. We get a break in the action. Let's take a moment to check out our State Farm leaderboard and team slugging percentage. Number one, the White Sox. The Red Sox in second. The Blue Jays third. The Yankees fourth. And at number five, it's the Angels. But one through nine, this team can absolutely pound the baseball. Number one in baseball and slugging percentage. And it goes one through nine. They don't care who it is. They're going to set back on that back leg and try to drive you out of the ballpark. They absolutely pound the ball. He's hacking at the ground on that one. That ball is a strike. That strike's going to run the count to 0 2 for Rivera. Well, you're running out of time in this one. You need to give your offense some chance to try to come back in this game. They've got a lot of room to make up. If they're standing out in the field, it's not going to help. And this rolls all the way to the wall. And he's in at second with a double. One out. Get to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swung on and ripped towards second. And well, Blaina makes the play. And he holds the runner at second. Time to have a look at the league leaders brought to you by State Farm. Extra base hits. RBI situation, Alexei Ramirez. Swing and a liner to left. And that one's put away to retire the side. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. And here are the Indians. Bottom half of the eighth inning. Get a look here at the manager Manny Acton. The thoughts of a manager one can only speculate but at this point you got to believe he's, he's got some words for that next practice. And he starts Sizemore out. The O delivery of fastball taken for a strike. Well, it's getting late right now, and they're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. Strike that time, and it's 0 and 2. He's just popping that glove with that four seam fastball, pounding the strike oh. zone. And it holds at 0 and 2. Washburn set and delivers. Back up. Over to Conurco. That's one down. Well, now a big dozen. 13 in a row he set down. Absolutely lights out. What a performance. First pitch on the way. Takes a call. Strike one. Now, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Fielded by Ramirez. So Cabrera is set down. Number four. Has a turn in the box. He 
base is empty with two outs. Paints the lower outside corner. Call strike one. Now, Gary, I think right now that uh, you've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, uh, just keep getting outs right now. You have the countdowns there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Good defensive half inning there. No hits allowed. The White Sox maintaining their lead. And Paul Canerco to lead it off. Now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. Swung on, hit. Well, bueno. And Canarco retired. And it's Carlos Quinton in the box now. He homered back in the third. Rivera with a delivery. Drops right between them. Going to be a base hit. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in hits. And he's also leading the league in home runs. That power bat, that ability to hit it out of the ballpark. A major power threat every time he comes to the plate. And it'll be Jensen Lewis doing the pitching. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. He had a three-run homer last time in the lineup. Coming to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Center He's a runner on for Alex Rios. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. And he starts Rios out. He swings and nails a liner. Throws to first side is retired. No runs on a hit and they'll strand it. And we'll see the Indians next. Quick glimpse of the manager Ozzie Gian. He has to be very pleased right now riding this one up. Here's the first pitch. Cut fastball swung on and missed 0 and 1. Well, I think right now offensively you've got to start getting base runners get as many as you can. I mean you're down a ton so you don't need big hits you don't need home runs you need base runners. Smash towards the middle and that'll put you on first. It's going to bring up Johnny Peralta. Look at the teams with the lowest opponent batting average for the last 10. Brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Blue Jays. Second, the Rays. The Red Sox third. Mariners fourth. And at number five on the list, the White Sox. Well, these teams right here are tough to face because they just do not give up many base hits. And you've got to make the most of those hits when you get them and try to punch them together. Washburn set and delivered. And that's in for a strike. Well, he couldn't have asked for a better pitch. He likes the ball down the middle like every hitter, and he got a fastball. You got to swing the bat. Hit sharply towards the hole, retiring Peralta. Uh, just having some difficulty right now trying to make up this ground, and, and obviously they've got a hill still to climb. And running out of time right now, only two outs remaining, so they've got to get something going and keep it going. And the first pitch. There's one that's in there called strike. When you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. One Misses for a ball to even things at one. Now he didn't chase that one. That pitch down and away. Good movement on the cut fastball. He just laid off of it. It's a pitch with two strikes. You better be swinging it, though. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. You got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him and he came out of his hand wrong and the ball sailed on him. He's ready in Washburn, the 2 1. On the ground to second. And so Valbuena is retired. And they score it. Gary, I'm not sure I agree with the decision right there to throw to first. They get the out, but the run scores. They might have thought about going home. Washburn set and delivered. Line drive. That's the last out. This ball game is now over. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. A dominating performance, Gary.
Time now to honor the Pepsi Clutch performer. Great mound work, Jared Washburn. Well, yeah, I agree. Complete games seem to be a dying art, but every now and again, someone tosses a gem like this one. What I like is that even though he wasn't perfect, his manager gave him the chance and showed enough confidence in him that he could get the job done and finish it off, and he did. And when you take to the road, Steve, any win will do, but when you get this kind of offense, it's very satisfying. Well, it also sends a message to your club and to that club that you showed up to play. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball. Today.